So last weekend I took apart my Knipex wrench and combined it with another multi-tool to essentially replace my Swiss Army knife. So I've been carrying this Swiss Army knife for quite some time now, but it's not really lending itself too well to the projects that I'm doing at the moment. And the funny thing was that I was carrying the mini Knipex a lot more than the Swiss Army knife, even though it doesn't have all of the features. What I ended up doing was buying another multi-tool which did have the features that I missed, like a knife and a crosshead screwdriver. And eventually I thought, let's just do a proof of concept, see if we can combine the two and create my ultimate multi-tool. Taking this thing apart was fairly straightforward, just unbolted the little screw over there, and the button itself is composed out of two components. Once we take off the top cap, it falls out, and then the entire wrench essentially falls apart. After that I took the top handle to the 3D scanning station as that's the part that we'll be replacing on this model. And the other multi-tool is also really easy to take apart, it's a single bolt as soon as you remove that, all of the additional tools fall out. Of course I also took this component to the 3D scanner which turns it into a 3D model and we import that into the CAD software so we can have an easier time of actually creating the part that we need. I 3D printed that in PET GHF just to test out the mechanism itself and also see what the handle would feel like. Now in this case the handle was way too long which is a little bit troublesome because we want this to be as compact as possible so it fits in your pocket. And so I went back to the CAD program and I did a minor adjustment where the other multi-tool would be stuck on the side of it and not directly under it. The issue I faced with the second prototype is that the top segment is actually blocking the wrench from completely opening. So I went back to the CAD program and got completely rid of that segment. So it's just a bolt that's going completely through the design and nothing else there is blocking the wrench from opening anymore. So this prototype was by far the best, everything seemed to be functioning really quite well and it looked really decent as well. I did do one minor adjustment to the design before I sent it off to be CNC machined by the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. And the CNC parts came out looking really awesome and this will hold up really nicely over the long run. So if you enjoyed this video by the way then definitely leave a like, leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. So eventually we're left with a pretty funky looking EDC tool but it's a proof of concept so you can still open up the blade with one hand which is really neat and it locks into place as well so it won't collapse back inwards and then we have a bit holder at the top there as well and a pair of scissors in this thing so cutting rope and stuff will be really nice for that it also has a clip on there so we can clip it onto our trousers